Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2016 romance drama film called Never Gone. The movie opens up with a beautiful young girl named Su Yun Jin roaming around the street searching for someone special. She stops and looks at someone in the distance, and the scene changes. We are then taken to the year 2007, where Yun Jin is waiting for the bus. She narrates her story, explaining her family's weak economic conditions and about her ill father. She mentions that despite having financial problems, her parents have managed to send her to the best college for her higher studies. When she reaches her new college, Yun Jin seems quite different and confused compared to other students. While she is walking, a fancy motorbike drives past her, causing a nearby pipe to burst, getting her soaking wet. The boy on the bike is introduced as Chong Jung, who belongs to a rich family and is famous at the school. Furious, Young Jin rushes towards Chung to scold him, but as she is about to do so, a flying baseball flung at her is caught by Chung. After this, Chung walks away, suggesting Young Jin be careful. Inside the school, Young Jin befriends another student, Mo Yu Hua, who has the same family background as her. Mo tells her that she will help her to adapt to the new school environment. We are then introduced to Chung's three friends, Meng Shiyu, Zhou Ziya, and Song Ming. Later, Mo takes her to the class where she sits in front of Chung. In the next scene, after the math papers are distributed, we get to know that Yun Jin has got a very low score, whereas Chung has got a perfect one. Seeing her score, Meng starts to make fun of her. Yun Jin is about to head to the washroom in the middle of the math test when Chung stops her and snatches her notebook. She tries her best to get the notebook back, but fails. Then, a menstrual pad drops from the notebook, making Yun Jin embarrassed, and she leaves the class. After the incident, Chung feels really sad and guilty for disturbing and humiliating Yun Jin. In the next class, Chung tries to return Yun Jin's book to her. He pokes her from behind, but Yun Jin gives no response. After that, Chung throws the notebook on her table. Irritated by Chung's behavior, Yun Jin picks up her chair and places it on his leg, making him scream in pain. She then opens the book which Chung just threw, but is surprised to see all of her mistakes highlighted and corrected. During lunch, Meng and Zhou approach Young Jin and inform her about Chung's leg injury. Hearing this, Young Jin gives them her card for his treatment. However, the duo buy lunch for all their classmates instead. Later, Mo approaches Chung and mentions that the money on Young Jin's card was her pocket money for an entire month. After school, we see Young Jin standing on the roof of the school, thinking about something. Chung arrives there and teases Young Jin by pulling her hair. To cover up his mistakes, Chung asks Young Jin if he can help her with her math. Young Jin is about to leave, but Chung asks her to think logically about the offer. Yun Jin starts remembering her teacher telling her to increase her grades in math and agrees to be tutored by Chung. Chung starts teaching math to Yun Jin regularly after school. Yun Jin also starts enjoying studying with Chung, even though his behavior annoys her sometimes. Surprisingly, Yun Jin gets an 85 on her math test and is thrilled to see her improvement. Because of the time they are spending together, Yun Jin and Chung start getting closer. One day, Yun Jin has to leave for home because of a family emergency. She does not return to school for some time. While she is away, Chung becomes distracted and loses his focus on his studies. One day, Mo sits in Yun Jin's seat and Chung angrily confronts her about it. However, she replies that Yun Jin told her to sit there as she is back in her dorm room. Hearing this, Chung runs towards Yun Jin's room and knocks for her to open the door. After multiple attempts, Yun Jin opens the door crying with a black band on her hand. The black band implies that her father has died. He tries talking to Yun Jin, but she ignores him and asks him to stay away from her. A couple of years pass by, and they are at the end of their final year. At the graduation party, Chung cannot take his eyes off Yun Jin. Meng decides to express her love for Zhou and gathers the courage to ask him to dance. Chung also approaches Yun Jin and asks for a dance, to which she agrees. After the party, Chung and Yun Jin can be seen roaming outside. Here, Chung expresses his love for her. Yun Jin says nothing and kisses Chung. Delighted, he thinks it is her way of approving the relationship, but in fact, it is a farewell kiss by Yun Jin. She feels that Chung's family is rich and will never accept her. Hence, she decides to be apart from Chung and leaves, leaving him alone in the dark. The scene then fast forwards to a year where Yun Jin is now a university student. To pay for her tuition, she works at the university library. There, she meets a senior student, Shen Juen, who seems to be a kind-hearted man. As both of them are working together in the library, they build a special bond with each other. One day, Yun Jin is talking with Mo when she tells her that Shen is a good man who genuinely cares for her. While they are talking, Yun Jin hears someone calling her name. Yun Jin rushes outside to find Chung approaching her. Since it has been so long since they have seen each other, their conversation is awkward. Yun Jin tries to leave, but Chung stops her. Meanwhile, Shen arrives and introduces himself as Yun Jin's boyfriend. Surprisingly, Chung also introduces himself as her boyfriend. However, Yun Jin interrupts Chung's words and tells Shen that he is just an old high school classmate. After that, Shen reminds Yun Jin about their plan to visit the countryside. Hearing this, Chung offers them a ride. 
Chung's sister, Zhang Yue, introduces herself to Shen, as she is the one driving the car. Later, they reach a temple, where they kneel down to pray and write their wishes on paper. Young Jin tries to peek at what Chung is writing, but he moves aside and covers it. Soon, they exit the temple, and Zhang asks Shen to accompany her to buy some water, leaving Chung and Yun Jin alone. After they leave, Chung asks Yun Jin why she left him and is no longer interested in him. He then forces himself on Yun Jin. Shen sees this from a distance. After the temple visit, the group goes to a restaurant for dinner. There, Chung mentions their first kiss and forces Yun Jin to take a drink. Annoyed by Chung's behavior, she takes a drink which makes her dizzy and fall unconscious. Despite her drunk state, she keeps uttering Chung's name. In the next scene, Yun Jin tries to speak with Shen at the library, but he ignores her. He then tells her that she is still in love with Chung. Hearing this, Young Jin rushes to Chung's hotel room and confronts him for his earlier behavior. Instead of being apologetic, Chung replies that he too suffered a lot after she left him at the graduation party. A year later, Shen has graduated and Yun Jin is again alone in her life. Chung has not contacted her since the incident. Yun Jin's mother asks her to return home for an important family decision. Yun Jin turns down her holiday job and reaches her hometown. It turns out that Yun Jin's mother is asking permission to marry Uncle Wu who has helped the family in critical situations. For the sake of her mother's happiness, Yun Jin accepts the proposal. While she is walking with her mother, out of nowhere, Chung appears in front of her. Chung visits Yun Jin's house where we learn that he is there to work with his mother, who has recently bought the electric company in the area. Later, he annoys Yun Jin who is busy making paper rabbits. Chung tries to make one and Yun Jin underestimates him. After Yun Jin leaves, Chung stays there all night making the paper rabbits and in the process, he also gets his hands bruised. The next day, Yun Jin comes to Chung to find him asleep with the five rabbits he had made. Seeing Chung working hard for her, Yun Jin starts liking him. She also agrees when Chung asks her to come to Beijing to stay with her after her graduation. In the next scene, Yun Jin rigorously applies for a job in Beijing as her graduation nears. Despite her multiple attempts, no company in Beijing replies to her applications. Suddenly, she gets a job offer from Shanghai and accepts it. Chung calls her at the same time and says that he has found a job for her in Beijing. But when Yun Jin tells him that she accepted a job from Shanghai, he gets angry and disconnects the call. Feeling guilty, Yun Jin decides to visit Chung via train. While on the train, Chung calls her and apologizes for his behavior earlier. He then informs her that he is on his way to Shanghai to meet her. Because of this, they decide to stop at a station that lies in between. They finally meet and are very happy to be together. They spend their night in a nearby hotel, spending some quality time. The movie again fast forwards a few years, where we see Chung and Yun Jin setting up their new apartment. Later, Chung takes Yun Jin to his sister's engagement ceremony. When they get there, they are surprised to see Shen as Zhang's fiance. Chung tries to make Zhang understand that Shen is not good for her and is aiming for her property. Rather than understanding him, Zhang doubts Yun Jin for the same reason. On the other hand, Shen approaches Yun Jin and reveals that he is in fact with Zhang for her property. Hearing this, Yun Jin asked him to take care of Zhang and not to hurt her. In the next scene, Yun Jin is visited by Uncle Wu at her office. He explains to Yun Jin that her mother has been diagnosed with cervical cancer. He also reveals that before dying, her father borrowed some money from the factory he worked in so that he could treat his wife. Now, it is time to pay back the money, so he seeks Yun Jin's help. After Uncle Wu leaves, Yun Jin calls her friends asking to lend money, but none of them can lend her the massive amount of 200,000 yuan. When Yun Jin returns home, Chung tells her that he called Uncle Wu and is well aware of her mother's condition. He also gives her 300,000 yuan and asks her to give it to Uncle Wu to clear the debt. However, Yun Jin refuses to take the money, stating that she has already managed the money from Shen. Hearing this, Chen gets angry because she chose Shen to share her situation rather than him. Furious, he heads straight to meet Shen and throws the money at his face, asking him to stay away from their personal affairs. In the following scene, Chung is with his friends in a bar drinking recklessly. Ming calls Yun Jin and informs her about their location. In no time, Yun Jin arrives there and asks Chung to come home with her. Angry, Chung refuses her request and instead hugs Meng to make her jealous. Seeing this, Yun Jin asks his friends to drop him home after the party and leaves. Late at night, Chung arrives home drunk and falls on the couch. Yun Jin comes near him and hands him a letter where she states that she owes him 300,000 yuan. Annoyed by her behavior, Chung shouts at her saying that even after all of these years of being together, she still cannot love him. Because of this, he decides that they should separate. The scene then fast forwards two years, when Yun Jin visits the same temple that she and Chung had visited before. Even though it has been a long time since their separation, she still has not been able to forget Chung and the memories of him. She then decides to find out what Chung had written as his wish when they visited the temple before. 
After searching through the records for some time, she finally recognizes Chung's handwriting and reads through his wish book. She is surprised to find that he had written her name all over the book, as getting her was his only wish. After a year has passed, Young Jin visits New York searching for Chung. She walks through the streets asking people about the location where she thinks Chung is staying. After walking for some time, she finally reaches her destination and sees Chung from afar. When she is about to confront him, she notices Chung helping a pregnant lady get into his car. Seeing this, Yun Jin cannot control her tears and chooses to walk away. Luckily, Chung's car drives past Yun Jin and he recognizes her. But when he stops the car and gets out looking for Yun Jin, it is already too late and he cannot find her anywhere. In the last scene of the movie, we see Yun Jin standing at the top of the school building, remembering her time there with Chung. Suddenly, someone pulls her hair. When she turns around, she is surprised to see Chung, who asks her if she was in New York searching for him. Yun Jin only stands there without answering his question. Later, he shows her the video of the pregnant lady whom he was helping in New York and tells Yun Jin that she was his old friend. Realizing the misunderstanding, Yun Jin starts crying and hugs Chung. The film ends with the two reuniting on the roof of their old school building.